Thirty years on, the 4th June 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre remains a point of contention between China and many Western countries. They have implored Chinese leaders to account for giving the People's Liberation Army the order to open fire on their own people. Here's a report. A security person stands guard at Tiananmen Square, the site of a bloody crackdown on student protesters. From Taiwan to Hong Kong, as the world commemorated the 30th anniversary of Tiananmen Square massacre, mainland China maintained a conspicuous silence. The Chinese government censored all reportage or discussion of the event. As the national anthem blared, people in Beijing went about their lives as if it was just another day. It is as if the killings of hundreds of people and the thousands who were injured were erased from public memory. Some in the younger generation had not even heard about the massacre. When shown the iconic photograph of a man standing in front of a column of military tanks, they described it as a military parade. Clearly, far from drawing lessons from history, the Chinese state was suppressing history and not by censorship alone. It's been whitewashed from school curriculums as well. I call that uh, the, the uh, memory of all, the all of a memory, because the Chinese government wants the uh, next generation to uh, uh, forget it or uh, with their, their propaganda to distort the uh, historical facts. So uh, for me, it's not just uh, the anniversary. Uh, for me, that's, uh, that's on a daily basis. President Xi Jinping's government and China's Communist Party insist that the country's rapid economic development and prosperity justifies the action taken 30 years ago. Chinese Defense Minister General Wei Fengi told the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore over the weekend that the Tiananmen Square protests were a, I quote, political turmoil that the central government needed to quell which was the correct policy. Due to this, China has enjoyed stability, and if you visit China, you can understand that part of history." Unquote. Any hopes for a re-evaluation of the 1989 crackdown seems distant. Instead, Beijing joined issue with Washington over what the U.S. government had to say about the crackdown. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said, and I quote, Today, we call on China to release all those held for seeking to exercise their human rights and fundamental freedoms to halt the use of arbitrary detention and to reverse counterproductive policies that conflate terrorism with religious and political expression, unquote. In another tweet, Pompeo said that the events from 30 years back still stir the conscience of freedom-loving people. Adding insult to China's injury was Taiwan. Taiwan's president Tsai Ing-wen said that China continues to cover up the truth about the crackdown on pro-democracy demonstrators 30 years back. She said, and I quote, the Chinese government not only did not plan to repent for the past mistake, but it also continued to cover up the truth. Taiwan will definitely defend democracy and freedom regardless of threats and infiltration." Unquote. China expressed dissatisfaction and opposition to what it calls prejudice against the Chinese regime. Remember, China suspects Tsai Ing-wen and her ruling party of pushing Taiwan towards formal independence, a red line for China. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said that Pompeo had maliciously attacked China's political system. Bureau Report, we on World is One.